Hey guys, so tonight I'm going to make um, chicken and sweet potatoes with shallots and roasted asparagus. That's Brian. You guys haven't met Brian yet. He belongs to me. He is a huge help in the kitchen. Um, he's actually a really, really, really good cook. And uh, if he was feeling better, he probably would have already had this ready for me. Um, but he's not been feeling too good. So I'm cooking tonight. So uh, throughout this process, I'll share a little bit of what I'm doing with you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I have my sweet potato and I'm going to um, cut it up and put it in a pot and cover it with water. Pretty simple. Uh, it says to do it, I think somewhere it said to uh, two inch pieces. So I'm going to kind of guesstimate. I'm not going to measure anything crazy like that. Um, so I'm going to cut up my sweet potato and put it in the pot. Okay, so I have my sweet potatoes in my water, and I have my pan ready for my chicken, and I just have a, a chicken breast, and this is um, like no preservatives, no um, whatever fed, it's supposed to be like super, super good stuff. Uh, again, I got it at Ingles, and it was really well marked, and I didn't have to look too hard for it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of my sea salt, um, and a little bit of my ground black pepper uh, to season my chicken and then I have some rosemary that I'm going to put in the pan along with and I'm supposed to have shallots but my shallots have sat here for too long and they were not good so I'm going to use just um, regular white onion uh, to put in the pan so I'm going to pick my onion and my rosemary first and I'm going to add the chicken to it. Okay so what I'm doing for my time is uh, it's just a little bit of olive oil I'm sorry, my asparagus. I'm doing uh, roasted asparagus. Asparagus. Whatever green stuff is called. Um, it's just a little bit of olive oil and some dried thyme that I'm tossing together. And I'll add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper to it. I'll throw it on my pan and throw it in the oven at 400 for a little while. And then drop it down and let it bake. So I've got my asparagus out and uh, it's all ready to go in. My sweet potatoes are cooking. Um, you're supposed to add salt to them, a little bit of salt to them, whenever uh, they start boiling. But with this sea salt, it's kind of confusing. See how it says shake real small on one side and the big holes on the other side? Well, Brian opens this side and goes to pour things in and he dumped like half the bottle of salt in there. Not quite. Not quite. Maybe a fourth. So uh, he had to dump the water and get the, uh, the small side and give me some more salt. Um, so I'm getting ready to do my chicken. I've got my asparagus ready to go in and my sweet potatoes are boiling and I've got my onion rings and my rosemary in my pan. It says to cook it for a minute um, before I add my chicken to it. And it smells really good. Again, I wish we had like smell vision or something because this smells super, 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 super good. Um, if you've never had rosemary before, uh, I don't really know what to, how to describe it, but it smells really, really good. It smells kind of like Christmas-ish. I don't know. Alright, so my onion and my rosemary has been cooking for just about a minute or so. Um, so I'm just going to add my chicken to it. The chicken just has salt and pepper on both sides. That's all it is. Um, nothing special, nothing fancy. Um, just salt and pepper. That's all it's got on it. Alright, so my sweet potatoes are mashed. Let some of that water boil off. My chicken is frying. That looks delicious. And my time, however well spent, is in the oven. Brought down to... I keep saying time. It is asparagus. You're right. It has time on it. But anyway, it's we brought the oven down to 250 for another 15 minutes. So we're waiting. Okay, so everything's all ready. Um, the chicken looks and smells delicious. Uh, the sweet potatoes, I have to admit, I'm not super excited to try those, but I'm going to because I see it does kind of look like baby food. I'm going to try it though. And uh, the asparagus kind of looks like um, dried up grass, but we'll try it and see. Um, now, another thing I got at Ingles was this really neat um, tray that uh, if you look at the bottom of it, it actually expands and so it can, I can make it deeper or more shallow. And so, um, since you were asking about how we do portions and things, what I did was I just split it even 
between my plate for tonight and my lunch for tomorrow. Um, and so I'll throw this in the refrigerator and I'm going to go eat this. Okay, so I'm going to try some of this. I'm going to try the chicken first. Um, it looks really, really good. Um, looks really juicy. Oh my gosh. The chicken is amazing. Um, this is what I was kind of scared of. In fact, I'm going to get even a little bit less um, to try the uh, sweet potatoes. So we'll see how that tastes. Um, I don't know. It's not horrible. Edible. Especially with that chicken. That chicken, I'm telling y'all, is amazing. Uh, and now a little bit of asparagus. Now, I've tried asparagus cooked a bunch of different ways. And I've never found a way I like it. So we'll see about this one. Um, it's tough. It's hard to chew. It's kind of like chewing on a tree branch. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the asparagus. The taste is amazing. That time is fantastic. I'll have to remember that. Um, but back to this chicken. Y'all, seriously, this chicken is amazing. Just salt and pepper with the, uh, Onions and the rosemary in the bottom. Mmm. Delicious. So there's my meal. You'll have it for lunch again tomorrow. And another dinner tomorrow night.